left the island of Sal at 11 o'clock. Forecast was ideal. It looked to be a perfect day to sail. I don't know what could make it even better. Oh yeah, the crew. It's me and Marisia. Hi guys. <laughs> My great compat, patriot, compañero. She's cool. We're going to Boa Vista after a quick stay in Sal. Johnny's going back to Belgium. We're going to meet up with Peter and Lily. And conditions are great, man. Wind at our backs. I think is going to do just well. She was a bit unseen when we came over. But I think it's because we a little yeah. too much. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But she's tough, man. Marisha's tough. She may look skinny, but she's tough. Tough here, tough here. And sometimes tough here too. <laughs> so, this is gonna be nice, I hope. Should be there in just a few hours. It's not very long. And the wind, like I said, is fantastic. Man, we had the best conditions. i tell you something. You wanna sail on Cape Verde? Come now this season late summer until fall because uh, then the winds kind of die down conditions are better and you don't get your ass kicked like i've had my ass kicked and if you choose your good weather window which is the way to go things will be wonderful if you don't the ocean here will slap you silly oh yeah and i've been slapped here several times Look at this, Mauricio's happy, I'm happy. We didn't even play any music, we just sailed. We were just, for once, we were high on nothing but nature. No drinks, no nothing. It was fantastic. So some of you have been complaining that uh, I'm not a sailing channel anymore because I just hang out and party with cool people like Mauricio. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We're not a sailing channel. We're sailors. We just go out there and friggin' sail and party and have a good time. So there. Oh, we sailing, baby. That's right, we sailing. <laughs> we get out there and sail too. Man, and, and guess what? Marisa sails too. All right? And maybe later we'll even have a grog. Me! Be me. <laughs> she could party better than any of you other bastards. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you and your armchairs, who want some more sailing? And for those of you who like to see Marisia too, here's you got the best of both worlds. Right now it's pretty calm. As soon as we pass the island, uh, there's gonna be some waves and stuff. But uh, right now it's like smooth sailing, as they say. Sailing almost always involves an unforeseen incident. Marius here just free men. <laughs> Marius here just got baptized. Nice wave came crashing across. <laughs> Look at that, she takes it with a smile. I told you she was tough.
con todas las horas Tú es mi vida y eso es toda, toda mi aurora Lo que quiero es amor yeah, yeah. Nada de compasión No, no, no lo sé si tú sabes We were nearly there and had to head into the wind. As well, there is a hidden reef to look out for, but it's well marked on the charts. Time to open the windows, turn off the instruments, autopilot, get some air in here, fresh air. Saran wrap solution held up. There's a few waves that washed over, but it's all dry in here. Mauricio's happy. We deserved that drink, even though it didn't go down so smoothly. Mauricia had places to go. She would have loved to stay a couple days out here, but duty calls. She's got the heavy responsibility to entertain guests during their all-inclusive vacations. The sad part of this whole story is I have to say goodbye to my dear friend Mauricia. My friend Joyce came to meet her and it looks like things are going to be great for her. So here we are with Mauricia and her friend. My name is Joyce. Joyce. Hola. Hola. She's going to be working with Joyce at the hotel Eurostar. Iberostar. Iberostar. <laughs> Joyce has been working at Iberostar for five months and that's an indication that things are good. Really? Con the Mikizer. They're treating her well. So let's keep our fingers crossed for Mauricia that she has a great experience there at Iberostar. Maybe some talent scout will find her, see her, and yeah, maybe get a job somewhere and be a professional dancer. She can be on stage with just about anybody. This is our last little meal and drink together before. So much. I'm gonna lose my Maris, yeah. Tim so that the ball. Yeah, get you Look at Kirby. She said maybe she'll find a sugar daddy. <laughs> I said you deserve more than a sugar daddy. Unless the sugar daddy is a good looking young guy that you deserve and he takes good care of you. Alright? <laughs> I don't know if you could deal with a sugar daddy, Marisa. You're just too independent. Don't, don't you think she's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she, she, she's just too independent. You know? And that's the other thing why I absolutely adore her and love her. She's independent. And at any moment, she'll just tell you that. We wish you the best, Miga. So since Peter and I were denied entrance at the at the bar, we were not allowed in. 
Can you imagine two white dudes like he tried us? To pay. Yeah. No. So we came here, the next best thing, to this cool neighborhood, Barack. Barack. And we're hanging out here, and we're the only white dudes here. <laughs> what? Racist. And we're welcome here. We're meanwhile at the freaking hotel. There's a couple people who we don't were, welcome us. We were, most of them do. We were not welcome at the hotel. We were most definitely not welcome. Not welcome at all. And here we're welcome. This goes to show you. See? Colonialism. You actually gonna put this online? I think I will. <laughs> Much cooler here. It was great to have you aboard on this voyage, so if you enjoyed your trip, leave a like and subscribe. You'll help us navigate better. We promise you a good time every Wednesday, man, so welcome aboard.